Hi, I'm Bob Cargill. It's Saturday, February 15, 2014, and I'm here in Franklin, Massachusetts, the town in which I grew up, the town in which my parents still live, the town in which I ran for the very first time many years ago. Yep, my dad taught me to run here in Franklin when I was just knee-high to a grasshopper. He'd take me, my brother and sister, to a quiet, rolling, long stretch of road where he would time each of us running for about a quarter mile or so, an exceptionally long distance for me as a kid, but I liked it. I liked pounding the pavement one small step at a time, running as fast as I could go for as long as I could last. I liked it enough to keep at it for a long time. I liked it enough to run track and cross country at Franklin High School, running lap after lap in the field house right behind me, a total of 22 laps in the two mile race, 11 in the mile. I liked it enough to run across the fields, through the woods and up and down the streets all around me. I can still hear Coach Career urging me on, inspiring me to give everything that I had in every race that I ran. I liked running enough back then that I'm still at it today. In fact, about two months from now, I'll be joining thousands of other runners for that heralded historic 26.2 mile trek, the Boston Marathon. It'll be the 12th time I've run the Boston Marathon, my 15th marathon overall. And because I've been there, done that so many times before, I know I'll be tired and sore most of the way. But any aches and pain I'll have to endure that day will be nothing compared to what the victims of the Boston Marathon bombings experienced last year, or the hurt and the heartache that kids with cancer and their families have to withstand. This year, I'll be running the Boston Marathon with the victims of the bombings on my mind and for the kids who stay at Christopher's Haven with their families while they are being treated for cancer at a hospital in Boston. Christopher's Haven is a ridiculously cool nonprofit organization that was founded in 2001 by a ridiculously cool guy, Dan Olson, a three-time cancer survivor himself. While receiving treatments at Massachusetts General Hospital, Dan met families struggling to care for a child battling cancer while also facing the staggering cost of extended stays near the hospital. So after surviving his third bout with the disease, Dan wanted to do something to help families like those he had met. His dream was to create a haven for young cancer patients and their families, a place that would free them from any concerns about lodging, making it possible for them to focus on their children's treatment and, re and recovery. In Christopher's Haven, Dan's dream came true. Without a doubt, this year's Boston Marathon will be extra special for me. I'll be thinking of the victims of last year's bombings every step of the way, but also the kids who stay at Christopher's Haven. To give to this nonprofit organization, please visit my fundraising page at www.firstgiving.com slash fundraiser slash Bob Cargill, where you can make a secure online donation. Or you can donate by check. Just make it payable to Christopher's Haven and mail it to me at 33 Oakwood Avenue, Sudbury, Massachusetts, 01776. Your donation will mean a lot to me, but think how much it will mean to the boys and girls who have to undergo cancer treatment in Boston and their families who stay with them at Christopher's Haven. Thank you for your support.